Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it, and I promise to update this channel daily. If you love this watch, you can see it and purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. Let me zoom out a little bit and get a better sense of this timepiece on the wrist, because this Panerai Rodumir 8-day GMT for Cellini PAM266 is a stunner. 45 millimeters in rose gold, this 2006 limited series of, believe it or not, 30 pieces, that's right, 3-0, is one of the most attractive and distinctive Panerai timepieces I've ever encountered, with a high horology GMT 8-day in-house caliber and a case with blue dial that is singular and in terms of the blue dial about a decade ahead of its time if you love Panerai but you don't like the clone watch look this is neither a clone nor common you're likely to never see another the PAM 266 is easy to wear as with most wire lug radiomere not terribly thick at 15.5 despite the complications and the three barrel power reserve the watch is also reasonably constrained from lug to lug though it's 53 millimeters lug to lug absolute think of it as a 45 millimeter square wear watch, because that's the only portion that actually contacts your wrist. The lugs are draped down and around the wrist, and they really don't contribute to the span across the wrist the way a conventional watch lug does. The strap is way above spec for a conventional Panerai. Calfskin on the underside, gator, large rectangular scale on the top. This is where we expect some sort of calfskin or rubber from Panerai. Not here. Bolstered, a sort of burgundy red with a contrasting stitch, and as you can see, a thin folded edge. It terminates in a a handsome wire lug styled pin buckle in matching red gold. This is where you expect a crude trapezoidal piece, not here. This is more elegant. This is a Panerai that you could almost consider to be an aggressive dress watch. Almost, that is, until you realize you've got a free sprung balance with a full balance bridge for shock resistance and 100 meter water resistance to take this baby swimming. The case form is simple. This is the original wire lug Rodimere form that first bowed in the late 1990s. The resurrected 3646 case form, not the 1940 with its brutal integral lugs. These are the wire lugs that you can swap out using a strap tool to open, or I should say a screwdriver, to displace the wire from the case and swap out the strap. It's a 26 millimeter size strap, if you're wondering. And after all, strap swapping is part of the fun of Panerai ownership. Now, the case is all of high polished red gold, and I do mean red gold, with a 1970s interlocking Officine Panerai style logo. The dial is a matte blue and a sensational one. It's very dramatic in juxtaposition to the red gold case. You have a lot going on. There's an invert cyclops size, so it's a magnifier, but it's underneath the crystal, so it doesn't mar the lines. You can also see that there is a stub 24 hour hand. Integral with constant seconds at 9 o'clock is an AM PM indicator for that stub hand, and there is an eight-day dog fang style horizontal power reserve, and you have a sandwich dial structure. Let me see if I can get a little bit closer so you can see how the dial itself is a stencil with the indices and features, including the Arabic numerals, placed over a solid disc of luminescence. So they have both tremendous luminescence at night and brightness, plus a 3D effect created by that disc shining up through the height of the stenciled figures. Uh, jumped back for a moment, you can see that the hands, primary hands, are all of rose gold, and I'll demonstrate how the functions of the GMT work. You have the ability to move that hour hand, local hours, forward or backwards, jumping the date in either direction as you cross the international date line. That does not stop the movement. Now, when you pull the crown out, now you synchronize everything and you zero reset the seconds hand. So this watch is not just a hacking seconds, but a zero reset seconds. You can see that AM PM in the nine o'clock sub register growing dark and light to indicate what this remote time zone is seeing. That is the time zone where you are not. So you can see we're transitioning to day now and the morning. It's a handy system. It's a wonderful Panerai for the dandy traveler who wants something a little bit more stylish, upscale and flamboyant than a standard Panerai watch. But on the case back, you are getting the highest level of Panerai manufacturer watchmaking because the caliber P2002-1, part of the first mid-2000s family of Panerai calibers, was way over-engineered. As I mentioned, free sprung balance with a full balance bridge for shock resistance, 28,800 vibration per hour beat rate, 21 joules, three mainspring barrels and an eight day power reserve. You have the zero reset seconds, you have the date, you have the GMT, you have the power reserve indicator, and you'll note that the bridges are finished and cut in a form that pays tribute to both the finish or the linear 
satin grain, and the three-quarter architecture of the old Angelus and Rolex Cordebert pocket watch calibers that powered Panerai watches of the 3646, 6154, and 6152 generations. They all had this essential aesthetic, albeit not nearly executed to this degree of detail. With only 30 of these PAM 266s made, you're never going to see another one, rest assured. If you love Panerai, but you don't want a watch that feels like all the rest, this is the perfect end. Answer. The iconic Radiomir, with complications friendly to a traveler, an 8-day power reserve so you can rotate through your collection. If this isn't an everyday watch, you only need to wind it once a week. See it and make it yours. Live the dream, the unconventional path, the path less taken among Panerai, the PAM 266 on the watch box. Living up to the legend, Panerai Radiomir 8-day GMT for Cellini, PAM 266 by night.